Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today I'm just gonna make an announcement here that I will be presenting on a panel at the Cornell Financial Engineering Manhattan 2024 Future of Finance and AI Conference. That is a mouthful here. Um, but I'm very, very excited. Um, I was invited by Alexander Fleece, um, so I followed him on LinkedIn. And if you go through the, the, the schedule here, so I've got the schedule on my phone, um, there are a lot of really great names in the industry, leading experts, um, leading the charge in AI and ML from a finance perspective here. Um, just some of the big companies that will be there to throw that out there is going to be NVIDIA, um, BlackRock, Snowflake will all be represented and presenting there, of course, Fidelity. Um, so I am very excited. Um, I think I'm most excited to see Igor Halperin speak. So for many of you that know, uh, I heard about um, his work. I've kind of been following him on LinkedIn. I look at his posts. Um, I look at his content and I'm like, who the hell is doing reinforcement learning for finance? This makes completely like no sense. Like this is just garbage. And then I'm following him and I'm like, this is really smart. Like there's a really good application for this. And there's inverse reinforcement learning. And I'm like, I've got to get the book. So of course I've I've bought the book and I've, I've been reading through the book. And of course, I've had other books, as you guys know, uh, I've been working through. But I mean, you can see I, I do my standard like read and highlight. And then I take forever to read the book because I'm diving into the details here. But he is going to be on a panel discussion titled Where Does Machine Learning Go From Here? Uh, this is probably the like, I don't know. This is like the most exciting presentation of the, the day for me. They're all really good ones. Uh, but this one is going to be with individuals from, like I said, NVIDIA, uh, the chief scientist, IBM Research, um, again, uh, Igor Halperin from Fidelity. Um, and then we're going to have Verition Fund Management, head of data strategy and sourcing as well. Uh, so that one's going to be, I think, quite interesting. I will be on a panel at four o'clock of the future of interpreting data. Um, I don't know what the questions are going to be, at least not now. I don't know what it's going to look like. So, you know, wish me luck on this. Uh, but I have some interesting ideas around this as we have been doing some pretty unique and interesting things at Agora Data. Um, so I've kind of hinted at them throughout the podcast. I am pretty like frustrated at this point, though. I have research like stacking in my head and I can't get it out of my head onto paper fast enough because I have so many projects going but bear with me. Um, I might um, share a little bit of insight around how we look at data differently, how we interpret data. And when I mean interpret data, I don't just mean simple analytics. I mean taking large sets of data, uh, high dimensional complexity, and unpacking these into uh, modeling frameworks that actually work. Uh, we're working on, so I have a unified model framework for credit risk. It does everything under the sun. Uh, it does 10x what I've ever seen at any other bank or firm. Uh, when I was at other banks, we built you know a model for this, and a model for this, and a model for something else. And at the end of the day, it didn't unify. Um, we have one set um, of equations. So it's a set of equations, not just one. Uh, sets of equations that take variables and models and put them into a framework and the entire thing works cohesively together. Um, again, I will not be presenting any specific ideas off of that, but being able to view data and interpret data from these different perspectives, I'm hoping to share a little bit more um, kind of about how I look at data, how I interpret data, um, how we use machine learning and AI, for example. We are using machine learning a lot I use it for very different things than probably most people. Uh, variable selection is one of them, and we team these up with statistics. And then, of course, being me, uh, I take machine learning and I view it just as stats and math, and so I have to apply it theoretically, and I have to understand what's going on, and there has to be some sort of meaningful solution coming out of this because you don't just fit stuff to fit stuff. So anyways, I'm excited to be on that. Uh, the other two things I'm quite excited about as well from this is going to be the debates. So after lunch, there is one keynote debate, which is the future of data science and machine learning from Claudia Perlich. Uh, apologies if I butcher any of the names on here. Uh, from Two Sigma versus Lisa Hong, uh, for head of AI investment management and planning at Fidelity. Interesting one. Uh, I'm more excited though, and probably my second most exciting thing is going to be the keynote debate at 1225 on machine learning versus optimal control here. Um, the reason for this is because um, Peter Cotton, so is from Rebellion Research, is going to be debating a chief AI officer at Alliance Bearstein, Andrew Chen. And this is going to be machine learning versus optimal control. Uh, Peter Cotton has a book on micro predictions, building an open AI network. And so I've like, I've been on the fence. Should I buy the book? 
Should I not buy his book? I think it would be an interesting book. I kind of follow him on LinkedIn as well, and he has posts. So like this conference in general is like the people that I mainly follow on LinkedIn and on Twitter and other sorts of networks, a lot of them are going to be here at this conference. So I'm pretty excited to even be invited to be a panelist alongside many of these individuals. Um, I'm also excited um, just to hear the ideas, the discussion points, and figure out if I want to buy more books. Um, so I was looking over here because uh, I have books. Now, some of these I've read, but and I have books all back here. And I've read a lot of these books, um, but I just don't have time to read all the books. And so uh, now I'm in this stage of like, oh, I have a dream list of like 300 books and I'm just buying books but I need to have the time to read all these books. So I'm hoping this conference will help with that as well. Um, I will put a link in the description below. So if you would like to purchase a ticket and come, it is in New York City. Um, tickets for EDU websites. So those that are in school or students, it's $171.50 currently. Um, general admissions is $320.89. Um, I know I had students message me and they're like, oh, Dimitri, you're gonna be in New York. Um, we've been chatting for years. I'd love to meet you. Like I'm on the fence whether I should get a ticket or not. Um, yeah, it's a little bit pricier for a student. I think it's a great value though. It, again, it depends what you're trying to do with it. If you're an undergrad and you just have money to spend and you want to learn more about the industry and see interesting topics, I think this is a great experience. If you're an undergrad and you're you know really strapped on cash, probably not the best experience because you still have to go through the master's degree. So someone mentioned like, oh, it'd be great to do some networking and stuff. Like, yeah, it would be. And that's good to make contacts and learn. But again, how, you know, how much is that worth to you? I don't really know. Um, again, for many undergrads, I'm not sure it has the value there for you. If you're in a graduate program, though, you're looking to graduate, it is a great spot to kind of learn, uh, meet new people to network, as somebody mentioned. But more importantly, if you're going to do an interview uh, and someone's going to ask about machine learning, these sorts of topics, these sorts of presentations, these sorts of debates, I think will give you a much deeper understanding in many of the areas. Um, it, at the bare minimum, even if it's not cutting edge, maybe everybody's just, you know, I don't know, giving general advice like myself. And if they are, you at least get the perspective. You can see how people react to the topics, right? When people say, oh, Dimitri, I'm a data scientist. I'm so excited. Uh, it's a big turnoff for me uh, because often when I have the conversation, there's not a lot of rigor in the discussion and the framework here. Um, I think as many of you will see as you attend this, um, these are, again, leading experts in their fields in many of these areas, you will see that there is going to be a different perspective, a different viewpoint than the fanboy online um, just chugging out, you know, how do you scikit-learn and then blindly applying it to finance. So I think it'll be a good experience for those of you that are in a graduate level if you have not attended this event before. I know somebody mentioned it looks quite similar to previous years. I don't know. I haven't been, but I'm very excited to go. Um, I am coming. Um, I have some one or two colleagues from work that are coming with me as well. So I'm very excited for that. Um, this will be September 13th. It is like an all day event. I believe it's like from like eight to five or five 30 or something. Um, so anyways, link in the description below. I'm very honored, very thankful to be able to even to attend this event, uh, and to be able to to be a panelist along uh, many other people as well. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.